Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chan Design Channel. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to build this kilted nut. It has been a very popular theme in the jewelry uh, design. And let's build the part uh, first and turn them into the ring band. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you go to Google and type a Celtic nut, you have a lot of those images uh, that started this a little bit. Basically, it's a triangle structure and within the triangle, you kind of see the arc they cross to each other. So I'm going to put this just on the side for the reference and we're going to starting with the triangle. So let's go into the polygon tool and then hit enter. That's the zero point that we have uh, as a center. I'm going to uh, go to the number of a size, set it for three, and you can decide what size you like to have. And I roughly just gonna have something like this. Holding my shift, so that will be um, 90 degree to the construction plane. Okay, now make sure that your all snap is on, your midpoint is on, because we are going to create an arc uh, by using the midpoint to uh, creating an arc there. Uh, the same thing you're going to notice that midpoint uh, while you have the arc pass, it passes exactly in the, uh, uh, at the midpoint there. So we kind of getting the structure like this and this is what we are going to use. I draw all three of them, but in fact we just need um, two of them. So I'm going to create a couple more layer and change them into different color. Uh, doing that just for easier for you to see is actually um, not gonna be too much a different for me, but it's easier for you to see. Uh, so we have one line there, it's gonna be red color and one line there, it's going to be blue color, for example. All right, so it's easier for you to see what is what uh, that I'm talking about. All right, so now uh, I'm going to creating the surface right there as we need some sort of a thickness right there. So the way I'm going to do is I'm going to creating um, the profile. So let's say I'm going to use the rectangle and we're going to go into snapping at three point. First point I'm going to snapping into there and then I'm going to decide to uh, thickness for um, maybe for two millimeter there. And then uh, once I type it two, I want to snapping into that point. And then I want to go into the uh, right view and type it two as well. So I basically want to have a square that that is totally aligned with the edge of my triangle. Okay. Uh, then that is the beginning. And what is the ending is going to be? Uh, I'm just simply just going to copy one there. Let's go ahead to use the sweep one rail. This blue line will be our rail and this and this will be our cross section. Just need to make sure that uh, all the, all the uh, line is aligned. So that way it, you will have a very nice sweep. Okay. All right, so imagine that I have this one uh, and it's going to be rotate with a copy equal yes. And then let's hit zero. And we want to rotate from this point to that point. So you kind of get an idea of how they will work. However, if, you, if we study this a little bit, you're going to notice uh, let's take a look on the top view. You're going to notice at this spot it going down and when it meet another edge it coming up. So in fact, we will need another cross section right at this spot and right at this spot. Okay, so that's going to helping us to, to get more um, cross section right there. So the way I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a surface and it can be anywhere, that's fine as long as it's big enough. And with that surface, I'm going to rotate it roughly 
uh, like this and close to this spot okay actually I need to go like this way and close to this spot right there I will need another one and then I'm going to turn around to follow my uh, ISO curve and I will have another spot about right there okay and then so what I like to do is um, do the curve you have curve from the object and then you have intersect so I'm going to pick up this surface this surface and this surface and that is going to creating uh, the curve for me and then while it's cho uh, chosen I want to go ahead and join them okay all right so let's remove this remove this and we can actually remove those all right so now i have those two curves and i'm going to use the gumball move this one down about uh, minus 0.7 and with this one i'm going to move it up uh, 0.7 all right so if we sweep again, we should get something like going down here, going up there, and back to the point there. All right. So let's give it a try. We are going uh, surface, sweep one rail. Again, the blue line, cross section, all of them, and this one and this one. And then um, very quickly, you see everybody is aligned, and then you hit enter. And let's do another test here. Uh, I have that poly surface. If I go um, to rotate, type it zero as the center, and I'm going to move from here to here, and rotate it here to here, and copy equal yes. And let's take a look on that. All right, so it does follow our um, wish to go down and going up and take a look and see if that is what you're looking for and if this angle is what you like okay so if we copy another one you should you know be done but when we zoom in to look at this spot the spot doesn't look good right so you do want them to be you know kind of coming all together really nicely so what i like to do now is instead of um working uh, with the end curve right there I do want to have one let's go to the three point coming here and here and coming in somewhere in the intersection somewhere there okay um, then I'm going to delete all my surface and the reason I'm showing you this is just wanted to show you um, my thinking process so I'm repeating a lot of things but just wanted to uh, follow my thinking process so if you having other shape and it will be easier for you to uh, manipulate it okay so bear with me that I'm doing the same thing over and over but just want to share with you my thinking process okay now I rotate that one over there we no longer need this profile and the reason we need to do this way is because we want to when they meet all uh, edges together they we were able to bowling and they will be flush okay so let's do one more time surface sweep one blue line is our curve going from you you to you to you okay so now everybody uh, make sure they are aligned and they are facing the same direction okay so now we have this guy right here okay let's give it a try uh, we want to do from the top view and then let's go ahead to rotate make sure the zero is our center copy equal yes and we want to do from here to here to here oops one more from here to here to here okay so now this is how we get this if you just go ahead and join them then you will have some sort of an intersection uh, my the way I do it is actually I make them uh, I should have kept them you know at the beginning I'm just gonna go ahead to cap all of them now so each of them is an individual uh, poly 
a solid polish surface. Now I can do is I can boiling them. Okay, so now they become one single solid. Okay, at the same time, I would like to uh, give them a little bit of uh, filled edges. So let's try a small number that's a 0.2 um, and give it a try. All right, so it worked really well there. Uh, double check if you before you turn it into anything else. Uh, we want to pick up the poly surface, go to the property. It says close solid poly surface, which is great. All right, so now we have our component. Uh, we need to create it into a ring. So let's go ahead to do the ring size. Like every of my tutorial, I want to set it to diameter for 16. All right, so now this is my ring size. And of course, uh, I make it huge. All right, so I'm going to make it smaller, something like this. Then move it to the side. And we no longer need those curves, um, but I usually don't delete any of my curve. I will just hide it there. Okay, so now we no longer need this one too. Let's go ahead to make a thickness. So go to the surface. We want to extrude the curve straight and roughly about like this high. As long as you can cover it, this is just for the reference. So it doesn't, you don't have to worry about the, the width. Uh, the width is actually depends on our pattern. So let's go ahead to curve, curve from the object and we have create UV curves. Um, then this is the area that we are going to do the design. I'm going to simply moving that and align both of them horizontally in the center. So that way, you know, they are right in the center. Okay. I'm going to copy another one there and then rotate it 180 degree right there and move this guy back. And because they are going to be balling together, so make sure that they are intersect. All right. Now I have those. Let's enlarge the top view, and I need to fill up the rest of it. So I'm going to use the array tool. Set up the number more than what I need. Uh, probably seven set. And I'm going from here to uh, holding the shift and try to get it close to our first set there. Okay, so now I have all those extra and I can trim them off. Okay, so now uh, if I go ahead to flow this guy, I may have the gap uh, in between. So you kind of need to reconsider the size and also depends on what is your ring size. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to scale it down just a little bit. Um, so that way when they, they, they will be stretched or, or uh, jamming together a little bit, but that will be fine because it will be the ring band and it will be hard to tell. Okay. So now I have this, make sure, um, they are sitting, the surface right there is just a little bit, um, touching the bottom of uh, my pattern. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. Uh, enlarge is easier for you to see. The command that we are going to use is flow along the surface. Make sure you recall the history first and then flow along the surface. Let's pick up everybody there. Pick up one of the corner and pick up one of the corner right there. All right, so we do see a little bit gap there. Um, the way to correct it is actually, um, since we have a record history, I'm going to slightly uh, make that uh, base surface a little bit closer. So the computer will automatically adjust it. And since it has a lot of things to calculate it, so it will, it will a, a, a little bit slower. Um, look like we need to move in a little bit more. I just need them touch so I can bowling unit uh, later on. All right, perfect. So now it's working great. Uh, we no longer need this surface extrusion there. 
It said it will uh, break the history. Uh, we're no longer able to change it, but that's fine because we get what we want. All right. So that is the uh, way to making into the ring band. The only thing left is the bowling unit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment to help my ranking on the YouTube so a lot more people were able to see my video and I hope they will enjoy it like you do. So please like and comment and I will see you next Monday. Thank you.